Hi everybody, Ali Akbarian from Mobility Engineering, your resident road safety expert, back again for another Q&A. Uh, we're really, really sorry we've been offline for a few weeks. We were overseas, uh, had a few physical illnesses, had a few business issues, um, rodent problem, that's actually why I'm out here as well, um, in the workshop. So hopefully you can hear me. Um, we basically, in the offices, um, we've been having some rats go around and wee and poo all over the place. It's not a pretty sight. Uh, the last week or so we've been trying to get it under control and we, we think we're on the end of it. So hopefully we get rid of them and I can get back into my little mini studio and uh, start filming for you guys in there. But for now, uh, we're out here in the workshop in our solutions centre in front of our demo vehicle, uh, the wonderful uh, mobility engineering, one of them anyway, the demo vehicle. All right, let's get into today's Q&A question. So today's Q&A question comes in from Hi for Baby down in Victoria once again. We've mentioned them before, they are training partners and install partners down in Victoria. G'day guys at Hi for Baby, thank you very much for uh, sending us in a question again and we'll put a link to their website down below there. Actually before I go on, this is how you know that I haven't been on these videos for a while. We want you to hit that subscribe button down there. And I don't even have my subscribe pillow. That's in the that's in the rat infested studio at the moment, so I don't think I'll be using that for today's video. But uh, yeah, so hit that subscribe button down there. We've gotten past 100 subscribers, and we're like at 117. I am I'm just speechless. It's awesome. So thank you very much for doing that. And uh, let's get now to the next goal of a thousand. So hit that subscribe button. Show us some love. Show us some support. And please don't forget to send in your questions. Okay, let's get into the question from Hi for Baby. So they're asking you, asking us specifically, asking for any legislation, and also in New South Wales as well, but this is actually related Australia-wise, to where in New South Wales the laws say it is the driver's obligation to make sure passengers are safely restrained in the vehicle. And can you please provide us with a link? Okay, so the uh, first and foremost, um, the road rules that we are gonna, I'm going to mention, road rule number 266, I'll put a link below. This is both on a national level as well as a state-based level. The state-based uh, states go and copy and paste these national road rules and put it into their network. The opening line of that road rule, it says the driver of the vehicle must ensure that this rule is complied with. So what that means is that means that in the legislation it specifies the driver is responsible. So that's what it's all about, that's where it states the driver is responsible. However, what it also says is a driver of a normal passenger car. So a normal passenger car is classified as a vehicle that goes up to 12 seats. Anything above 12 seats, so a vehicle that is 13 seats and above, and in New South Wales you actually need a different license for that and it says it on the back of your license, but basically if you've got a vehicle that is 13 seats and above, then the laws are not like that, they're different. The laws, the driver is not responsible. It is the responsibility of the passengers themselves to make sure that they're correctly restrained, which obviously for little kids is not, uh, not practical, so that's where there's a bit of a complicated situation with buses, and we're not gonna get into that because that's probably a whole one hour long video about buses. But, uh, but just be aware that in standard passenger vehicles, for everybody out there, for all the standard people running around in normal cars, the driver is responsible for everybody in the vehicle, that they're wearing their seatbelts, that they've got their child restraints, the child restraints comply with the laws, zero to uh, six months for rearward facing, six months to four years for forward facing, and four to seven in the booster. All right, thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you for Hire for Baby for the question. Hit that subscribe button down below. Let's get us to a thousand subscribers, that'd be awesome. And uh, don't forget to send in those questions. Thanks very much.